Hi there, I'm Grumpity Linden, VP of Product. I was looking around for some new places to visit and saw a few really interesting things in the destination guide. Cool, I thought. I'll just go check out Kaleidoscope, that monarch butterfly preserve. On my phone. No big deal. Wait, what? Yeah, it's true. It's still early, but we're super excited to share a first peek at something new. Second Life Mobile. Look, it's me on my phone. Let's face it, this isn't the first time we've tried to build a mobile viewer because of course we want to have all the glory of Second Life in our pocket. But honestly, this is the most exciting result we've seen so far. Uh, we really wanted to start with the hardest things first. What's the hardest? Avatars and beautiful worldviews. And we wanted to make sure that our app works on all platforms. And so, it is with joy and trepidation that we share with you the early results of these efforts. Of course, it's still very much a work in progress. You will see very little functionality or user interface for now. But here it is, immediate vibrant second life on Android and iOS. For a little bit more about what to expect with Second Life Mobile, here's my colleague, Bojo Linden. Thanks, Grumpity. As the VP of Engineering, I have been working closely with the development team to make sure that the community can experience everything they love about Second Life while on the go with our upcoming mobile viewer. As Grumpity mentioned, to make this happen, we've started our development work with some of the most challenging aspects first. That includes delivering the full rendering of avatars with all their complex attachments and behaviors, as well as the full rendering of 3D environments that are so critical to the Second Life experience. The Second Life mobile viewer is built on Unity, and that fact has paved the way for residents to be able to explore and engage across the virtual world using multiple mobile phone and tablet platforms, including Android and iOS. I have been blown away at how lush and engaging experience we can get on a mobile device. I thought we were going to have to give up some of that beauty of Second Life to get it working on mobile phones. But so far, we haven't had to compromise too much on graphic fidelity. It's all still very recognizable, in many cases, downright gorgeous. But of course, I have a biased opinion and look forward to hearing what you all think. What you're seeing right now shows our progress so far but there's still much work to be done before we launch Second Life Mobile. Here's Patch to let you know more about what's next. Thanks, Mojo. I'm Patch, VP of Product Operations at Second Life, and I'm really excited to share with you a bit more about the future of Second Life Mobile. Over the past nearly two decades, I have seen Second Life enable people from all corners of the globe to create, socialize, experiment, engage in education, business, or even develop relationships sometimes those which may follow through into the real world. Second Life allows people to really connect in a meaningful way that other remote type scenarios do not work well for. There's an increased sense of connectedness when you are virtually placed within an immersive environment, and that proves to always be powerful when it comes to generating remembrance of that experience. Successfully, Second Life has demonstrated over the past nearly 20 years that you can find almost every interest you might have presented in various unique ways. As a platform, it enables opportunities to engage with it for entertainment value or a variety of other practical means. For example, I can find various types of role play, games, adventure, or quests, or sometimes I might just be happy with wandering and exploring the vast continents that comprise the mainland or Belisaria with all of its hidden discoverable gems and artifacts. With that said, now, imagine being able to stay connected with your Second Life from anywhere, chat with friends, visit your favorite in-world hangout spots, and later, do pretty much anything you can do with the desktop Second Life viewer without being tethered to your computer. We're still working hard to bring the best of what you expect from Second Life to a mobile experience, and we can't wait to show you more in the coming months as our development progress continues. Your world, your imagination, anywhere, any place. Mobile is coming soon to Second Life.